What's up guys, Grim Tutor, Blightsteel Colossus, and Terror of the Peaks are this month's Patreon rewards. We've also incorporated brand new tiers for those of you who'd like to get your hands on some of our awesome previous proxies very, very quickly. To support our channel and sign up for the tier that best suits you, check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash it resolves. What's going on guys? Uh, welcome to a little bit of a different kind of gameplay video. So Jumpstart obviously just released today. Uh, and so I thought, you know what, let's get a quick video up on this. Uh, let's play just two wins. We'll, we'll play maybe two, three games. We'll see what we can get in. Uh, but I just wanted to try this out. Uh, I have done it already once um, and really, really enjoyed it. So I thought we'd try it together. Uh, just a heads up, we're going to try and stream this a little bit this weekend. So do uh, pay attention. We, we plan on doing that, but I don't know exactly when. So we'll do the best we can. Uh, let's see what we want to do. Uh, we, we have three options here. Um, I'm going to go, I'm going to go spooky. Let's go spooky. I like that. Spooky Liliana or spooky tree hugging. Um, I'm going to go, we, we got to go Liliana. Spooky Liliana. That is our set. So if you don't know how this works, <clears throat> um, essentially all you do is you pick two packs, shuffle them together and that's your deck. That's it. It's super, super easy. Uh, and it's always a little bit interesting. Uh, we did get a Liliana. That's nice. Uh, we also got, ooh, Harvester of Souls. Yes, please. Uh, and we can look through the deck a little bit, but I'll be honest. I just kind of want to get into the games. I just kind of want to have a good time. So let's try this out. Let's see how we do. Um, there are like 40 or some odd different, different options, and you get different options every time. So uh, if you've not played yet... Um, I highly suggest doing so, and if you already ha are, all if you have already played, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, it is going to be a different experience for you every single time, so please do try this one out. I think this is a lot of fun. Uh, do, do, do. Got a lot of learning to do because obviously this comes with a lot of new cards, uh, and I'm not 100% aware of all of them. Uh, we're going to hold on to our Liliana land so they don't know that that's what we're playing. <laughs> uh, Nice. All right, so let's see. Return target creature over here to have the zombie card and draw a card. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, we'll just we'll go ahead and throw this out there. It's a little equipment, not super amazing, but uh, whenever the equipped creature dies, it gets a counter, and then it gets plus one, plus one for each counter on it, so that's pretty cool. Um, all right, let's throw you out. Uh, return another target creature card from a graveyard to your hand. Zombies you control. Ooh, that's pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and do this then. Um, barter in blood. Wow. Interesting, interesting. So, plan is probably going to be to play land, equip this up, and then uh, drop this guy down, but we'll see. Let's go ahead and equip this guy. And we'll just go ahead and play this out. Uh, we are against a Flyers deck, so this is going to be a bit tricky. Uh, unfortunately, there's not a lot we can do in the way of blocking, but it is what it is. Uh, looks like they went mono blue, so my guess is they are flyers uh, and pirates, maybe? Or something along those lines? I don't know for sure, but hey, we'll see. We will see. Um, yeah, dude, draw all the cards. Could just be card draw, too, but uh, all of their card draw is flying, re flying related, so... All right, we are certainly not in a great position, but uh, let's see. Um, hmm. Let's see what our options are. So, well, obviously we're gonna play a land. Um, obviously I think the plan is to attack. Uh, we'll see, maybe they've got a spell here. Oh, they do, oh, how mean. Um, well, in that case, let's just pull this one out. Let's do this. We obviously are going to sacrifice our two creatures, and that's fine. Um, I should have read this more carefully, but that's fine. Um, yeah, sweet. I really like that. Uh, okay, let's do this. All right. And let's see what happens. This is a really interesting deck. I really like this. Uh, I like the synergies here. Um, chances are we're going to lose to these flyers because they're a flyer deck and that's just really good. Um, we don't have another color, so it really doesn't matter. Uh, let's see. Mm hmm. I 
think to be mana efficient. Let's do this. Um, let's do this. Uh, that's not great, I understand. Um, but it does get us a little bit further into our deck here. So let's then equip this up. Uh, like I said, though, I think chances are they're just going to... They've out-tempoed us, so I think that we're just in a bad position. Um, and that's fine. They've got flyers. We don't have any flyers. Well, we do have one in hand now, but that's not really going to help much. Wow. So mean. So mean. All right. That's fine. Liliana. The girl herself. Uh, let's see. Number of cards in our graveyard. So we can take that out. Um, we can't quite do both things that we want to do here, but uh, this is going to help. If they have a counter spell, that's going to suck, though. Yeah, they do. All right. Well, we lost. That's fine. Let's jump into our second game. Uh, I do really like the idea of this. I think this is a cool way to kind of middle ground draft, if that makes sense. Um, and because it's on Arena, it has a higher success rate. So we um, we talked on the podcast previously about how they're doing a lot of, like, we'll say cute stuff, for lack of a better better word. Um, just because it's like, oh, yeah, here, do this, you know, fun little, like, Battle Bond was, um, you know, two-player drafting and, like, uh, we've had a number of, I, I can't think of all the different sets right now, but we've had a number of different sets that are kind of in that vein. Uh, Conspiracy, I guess, was kind of one. Um, and I like that. I mean, it's it's super fun to be able to, like, try different stuff. So I'm not, I don't want to shy away from, like, you know, um, or, or say that trying different kind of uh, formats is bad. But I think that um, initially when they released Jumpstart, I was just like, you know, this is just another one of these formats. P people buy it for the reprints, maybe. Um, cause there are quite a number of good reprints, but people buy it for the reprints and it's just not going to be like amazing. But I think what they've done is taken the ease of, uh, the, they've, they've met a good middle ground where it's really easy to literally pull two packs, shuffle them together and see what happens. Um, and I think that that, because you don't have the draft element you don't have as much to learn when it comes to, or there's less of a barrier, I will say, oh, you get free mulligans. Um, there's less of a barrier for like learning how to play it. Um, this doesn't matter, but we're gonna do it. Um, I think that uh, it makes it a little bit easier. It makes it a little more fun um, because, wow, really? A young peasy and a green red? That seems a bit odd. Um, but anyway, it makes it a bit easier for someone to just come in and sit down and play instead of having to do the whole draft thing. There's a whole lot more to it. I think this eases it up a little bit. And so I really like it for that reason. Um, Oh, okay. Yeah, dude, you got it. Well done. Young Pyromancer is stupid good, by the way. Uh, if you don't know, or if you just don't play much, uh, or if you've never played much with Young Peasy, oh my goodness, he's good. Uh, do, do, do. What do we want to do? Um, let's just play this guy. This is a pretty good one for them to have to kill. Um, and it also just blocks efficiently. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so like Jumpstart feels a little bit different to me, but it also has the support of um, being specifically on MTG Arena, which is obviously kind of the most popular way to play right now. Um, a lot of streamers use it, obviously, because it's aesthetically a lot better than um, than uh, uh, MTGO. Um, so there's a lot of reason for that, but uh, it's just interesting, I think, uh, to see how things have progressed and I really like the idea behind Jumpstart. I do. I think it's um it's different. But different in a good way. Um all right, we'll pass. That's fine. Uh let's see. Don't know exactly what the right play is here. I think we picked ourselves a bit of a difficult archetype to just win with, um, solely because it's a little bit trickier to play, which isn't necessarily bad, but uh it's just not as okay, mean, but uh, it's just a little bit different. That's all. Uh, let's do this. <clears throat> so when this dies, we obviously get to put uh, this guy back. I like that. Um, we'll throw a land out. Hmm. So we can do this and this, or we can do this. I think the right play for now uh, is going to be this and this. Uh, this isn't amazing by any means, but... Uh, Hmm. Let's get the Taskmaster here. Uh, nice. Um, I'm going to attack in, see what they do. If they want to block with Young Peasy, that's great, but chances are they will not. 
Okay, trade off a couple tokens. I'm actually kind of fine with that. Uh, the reason being, we've already seen that we've got the card in our deck that makes them sacrifice two things. Um, sacrificing for us is not that big of a deal. Sacrificing for them, much bigger deal. So I'm kind of okay with that. Um, do kind of worry about, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, wow, that's so good. That is so, so good. This is quite a good archetype. I did not realize. I like this. I like this a lot. Um, obviously, we're going to drop this. It doesn't really matter what we pick here. Um, all right. Sorry if you hear a dog in the background. There's a dog in the background. I'm going to actually attack in. Let's see what they do. Okay. Looks like nothing. Um, then I'm going to end the turn. Uh, we can instant speed finishing blow the 4-4 four four here. Um, so I think that's going to be kind of our plan. Um, but again, we're in a bit of a tough spot. I'm not going to lie. Uh, we don't have a great, um, great way to do this. I do think this is the bigger problem than young pyromancer. Uh, both of them are problems. Don't get me wrong, but, um, wow. Hexproof from black. How perfect can you get? Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, not much we can do about that. Um, <laughs> We do get to play this out, uh, which is big enough to just straight block it. It's worth noting that's hexproof, not protection. Uh, and we're going to leave both things up here because we're, we're not in a good way. Just going to be honest. Um, but that's fine. Uh, this is a cool deck, man. Like, this is a really, really cool deck. I love uh, the young pyromancer mixed with, like, all these really powerful kind of uh, green instants and sorceries. Like, it's just really cool. Um, <clears throat> Harvester of Souls here, probably just gonna, if they do attack, we probably just block no matter what. Um, I hate doing that because obviously they're probably, if they are attacking, they probably can kill it, but I think we just have to. Uh, yeah. Okay. We're gonna do this. I'm guessing, no? Okay. Wow, Chandra. Yeah, dude. Okay. All of that to do that. And we get to draw a card off of it, which is like kind of not bad. <laughs> huh. How many creature cards are in our graveyard? Three. Okay. That's not a ton, but hmm. So we can do this and we can do this. Or we can just do this. Um, yeah, let's do this. We'll discard a creature card and we'll just discard the taskmaster master discard a creature card let's do this we'll draw our card it's a good blocker um all right uh hmm i'm gonna attack here i think we have to we have to get rid of this chandra this is absolutely a problem for us so um we're gonna swing in at five they can, like, double or triple block if they really want to, but chances are uh, this is, you know, I think they just take the hit. It's not even going to kill her, so I think that that's the right call. Caught in the crossfire. <sighs> Tasty. They do have a clock on us with the uh, magma. I hate that. Um, we might be able to make them sacrifice it at some point, but we'll, we'll see. We will see. Yeah, dude. Get that 4-2, draw that card. This is such a synergistic deck in such a cool way. Uh, and I think that I really like that. I mean, you're you're getting... Uh, what's cool about, again, what's cool about Jumpstart is that, like, kind of no matter what, you're going to have a pretty decent synergistic deck. It may not be perfect. Um, and you can actively try and take the worst archetypes, maybe, and see what happens. But, like, generally speaking, uh, I, I feel like this is pretty cool. Um so chances are we're going to die. <laughs> um, they can deal two to something. Uh, yes, I would like to draw a card. Yes, I would like to draw a card. That's super nice that we get to do that even if their creatures die. So now they can kill this. Or they just go for us. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, they got it. Uh, we'll do one more game. Why not? We've got one. We've got time. Um, 
We'll see if we can get a win with this one. Uh, I do think that um, there was potential that we could have done something a little bit better in terms of our choosing of the decks, but um, I also think, you know, I'm playing a little bit loose too. I'm not not being perfect about it, so that's fine. We're just having fun with some Jumpstart. That's all it is. I, I really like this. This on Arena, I think, is very fun. Ah, tasty. All right. Oh, they bought the... There's also a new little... Uh, gym package thing that you can get um okay do we keep this this is a bit odd uh we'll try it it's not a great hand if i'm honest um but chances are we'll be able to draw into a little bit hopefully uh this is like a nice little turn two play but um liliana's elite very interesting card so next turn we can drop this and equip it, uh, which would be really, really nice, and then we can start swinging in for a good bit. Uh, I also should just recognize the lands. That's going to be the way to remember all this, is to just play the lands. Um, let's do this. Uh, we'll equip this up. If they have a kill spell, now's the time, uh, because if they don't, we get a counter on this. So Maybe, maybe not attack in and see what they do um <clears throat> perfect get a get a hit for three in oh okay they had a flash guy well that's fine uh what did they choose for this white so that may or may not matter but um we know the option the other option is going to be white it looks like rogue is definitely on here and then something else we'll find out um Man, such a cool little idea for a, uh, a format, though. They're playing very cautiously, uh, which I think is right if you're a rogue deck. That's probably correct. Um, okay, that's fine. Uh, let's do this. We're going to swing in. Okay. And we're going to toss this little guy out. 3-2 Death Toucher. I'm in for it. Uh, also, don't really care if it dies all that much. Um, though I don't know that we're in a position where we need to kill anything. Um, I think it's better to leave this up. These cannot block. Uh, so, you know, worth noting. They do get to draw some cards off of this if they if we don't uh, just straight kill it. But, could be worse. Um, they do lose a life. So, do we think uh, we need to kill that? I kind of don't think so. I don't know if that's correct, though. I'm going to pass. We'll see. Um, that might be incorrect. I may pay for that later. Most likely will. <laughs> but uh, we're learning. It's all good. Worth noting also, I've looked through a lot of the Jumpstart stuff, but I don't know like all the cards that are in each uh, each you know little grouping. Um, and that's fine by me. I don't I don't particularly care. OK. They get to pull something. Oh, they don't. I'm sorry. They don't have oh, a land. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, we're going to attack in. I mean... We're kind of just on the damage plan here. We do get to throw this down, which isn't great, but... Um, let's go ahead and do this and put it over here. Um, just so we do have a 2-2, we can trade off if we'd like to, um, make a, make a trade if we need, and then be able to move this over to one of our, one of our other cards here, um, with an extra counter on it, which is pretty crucial. Uh, don't particularly want to do that, but if we have to, uh, we also have Rise again next turn if we'd like, so, you know, we've got some options. Uh, we definitely try and kill the Audacious Thief here. Uh, if they're gonna attack with it, that's what we kill. Do it. Do the thing. They're heavily considering. They are heavily considering. Um, you can do it. I believe in you. Wait for it. There it is. All of them. Yeah. Uh, not going to block that. I will block this, though. I'm fine with this dying. Oh, okay. Well, it's not going to die. That's fine. 
I don't particularly care either way. Get a soul counter on this, which is going to buff up the bone picker here. Um, and we just kind of have to hope they don't have anything to kill some of our stuff. Hmm. Well, that's pretty good. Um, let's get this in there. Interesting, interesting. Uh, yeah, let's attack here. Let's move this guy over. Um, all right, we'll end the turn. All right, well, let's see what happens. Uh, don't know if this is the best position to be in, but we do have a very lethal threat next turn. Um, does this have lifelink? Is that what? What got lifelink? Oh, the audacious thief got lifelink. Okay, that's fair. Sure. We just have to keep the bone picker alive, essentially, and then we're like, okay. Um, we'll trade off something here. Sure. Um. Let's get this blocked, I believe. Uh, we are going to lose our guy here, and that's fine. Uh, they may also just have another combat trick. They might be able to kill us. Who knows? Um, but we don't want to discard a card if we don't have to. So Get another counter here. We just have to hope they can't kill Bone Picker. Please don't be able to kill Bone Picker. Ah... Well, that's pretty good, but Liliana, I think, gonna save the day here. I'm looking for new minions. Let's get this out of there. Now, I know that they gain two, but we get to equip this up and attack in. Got it. We at least got one win. Uh, that was a fun time. I, I actually really enjoyed that. So... Uh, obviously a really cool little format. We'll probably record some more of these kinds of videos. Maybe even tomorrow that'll be like our focus instead of constructed stuff since this obviously just came out. Ooh, very cool. Um, but I'm really liking this. I think this is fun. Uh, I hope you guys try out Jumpstart. Let me know what archetypes you are finding most, uh, most fun or most useful. Uh, I really enjoyed this. I think this is a fun time. I don't know if it's going to be like yeah, long, long standing, a fun time format, but I think at least in the beginning, there's a novelty to it. And I love that. So I'm loving it. Hopefully you guys are too. Uh, make sure to share your jumpstart decks down below and see how they do. But thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next gameplay video.